Before we start working with the team files, let's take a look at or let's give some time to install browser sync in our golf file. You can see that the golf file only contains two tasks, the SAS and the default. We're gonna install browser sync. So we have the server that comes with browser sync, but also we have the library load. So anytime that we save some of these files, we are not reloading this thing. And this that will help us to be more efficient. And this process only takes a few minutes. You can see that the gold file is running, so I'm gonna pre press Control C. And here I'm gonna add npm install dash dash save dash dev and the name of the package browser sync. And I'm gonna expand this a little bit. So now you can see that browser sync has been installed. If I open the package.json, you will find browser sync right here. So now browser sync is installed as a dependency and we can use that in our goal file. Right after this good load plugins, I'm gonna add another variable. And this one is gonna be called browser, browser sync equals to require. And we're gonna require browser sync. Next, I'm gonna create another variable and this one is gonna be called reload equals to browser sync dot reload. Now we have added browser sync to this, this goal file. Let's create the task to watch for the, or let's create the task that will run browser sync in this goal file. I'm gonna add goal dot task and the task is going to be called browser sync. You can name it wherever you want, but I'm going to name it browser sync. Then we add a comma and this will execute a function. And we're going to add a variable files. And these are the files that we're going to be listening for changes so we can reload. And you can see these square brackets. So this is an array because we're going to pass a lot of different files. Then we add a comma, a dot, and a, a slash. And normally you can make some changes in the style.css. So I'm going to add that file, style.css. Let's add another single quotes. And we're going to be adding this to any PHP file. Uh, this one means anything that has the extension that PHP. So any file that we have in this in this folder that contains the PHP file is gonna be executing the reload in browser sync. Next we have in the template parts here we have another files. So let's add template parts and also that PHP. So any PHP that we find in the template parts also is gonna fire the reload for browser sync. What else? Well we have a INC folder and here we have another bunch of PHP files so let's look for INC and PHP. Any PHP that you find in this folder also is gonna fire the reload for browser sync. Here also we have this JS folder so let's look for that. Any JavaScript that we modify it's gonna fire the library load and we use this asterisk and then we're looking for any JavaScript file. And you can see here when we run the foundation watch command in the previous video, created, created this CSS app.css and this is the main file that we're gonna be using. So also let's look for that CSS app.css. And I think we're ready with the files that we have. Next, I'm going to create a commerce initializes browser sync. And we're going to initialize with browser sync. This is the same name that we have here at the top, browser sync, that init. And we're going to be listening for this file. So we pass that files as the first parameter. 
and then we add the curly braces and you can see here we have this well this folder it says localhost and we have everything like that if you set up this using bitnami the url is different so you have to copy this url wherever it is the url that you have in your computer not this one you have to open your browser and copy the url that you have and the way that you work when you are working or when you are using php files is with something called proxy and here on proxy you pass the url that you are working then we add a comma and then we are notify files before we finish we need to add this browser scene task here on the gulp task so i'm gonna add a comma and browser sync so let's run foundation watch again and you can see here on the gulp file now we have browser sync and it also created this access url so you can visit your website in this local host 3000 or also you can visit the website in your phone so this way you are more efficient while you're working and you can see they created this url localhost 3000 so for example let's see if this reload is working i'm going to open the index.php and here right after the header i'm going to add an h1 that says testing browser sync so let's save and you can see that it's working, testing browser sync. So now every, every change that we make is gonna be reloading this in browser sync. So now we are more efficient while we're working in our team. So in the next video, we're gonna add another uh, task to our workflow. We're gonna move some of the files that we need. So see you there.